Hi everyone, this is Sun Sun, an undergraduate student majored in information and computing science from University of Science and Technology. I'm honored to attend this leading conference. Today, I will give a presentation of my recent work, Prediction Intervals for Mechanical Property Forecasting with Improved ANFIS. Today's presentation is organized as follows. I will give a brief introduction of the research background, then prediction intervals and its indices will be presented. After that is PSO-based ANFIS, which is the core idea of my work. Based on this, we can offer the case study and its conclusion at the end of my presentation. My university officially founded in 1952, initially known as the Beijing Institute of Iron and Steel Technology, which inspired me to have a deep look at the steel production process. There are various products in steel industry. So one of the key factors to outperform other products is new products development cycle. Steel property forecasting can help us cut down the amount of property research experiments sharply and finally short the development cycle. Here is an online dynamic control panel of product property. Benefits from advanced sensors, we can easily obtain the various factors which have effect on steel production process. Steel property forecasting plays a crucial role during this process. So, what are the advantages of steel property forecasting? It is capable of predicting steel property before smelting. By setting proper parameters, uh, it can shorten new products development cycle, uh, enhance the effectiveness, cut down the amount of exper experiments, and uh, reduce cost. Most existing focused methods are point focusing. However, prediction accuracy drops significantly once level of uncertainty increases, such as using data set with multi-valued, sparse, or noise when addressing prediction and regression problems. Meanwhile, point focusing brings out only the point prediction values without any further information about the accuracy of prediction. Compared with the improved result of point focusing, prediction intervals performs better for its good quality of more reliable outcomes and quantifying the accuracy. Prediction intervals means constructing a range which targets most probably lie within. Several traditional methods of constructing PI are Delta, Bayesian generalized likelihood uncertainty estimation, bootstrap, and uh, mean variance. They are still not widely applied to real-world problems or some drawbacks. For instance, updating Jacobia and Hesse metrics for each parameter during each iteration can be extremely computationally expensive. Spontaneously, spatial assumptions about data distribution also contribute to the implementation difficulties. LUB method is proposed to handle problems mentioned previously by developing a feed-forward neural network or universal approximators with two outputs to directly generate the upper and the lower bounds of PIs. It makes no assumption about the data distribution and avoids the calculation of derivatives such as Jacobian matrix and Hesse matrix. Here are some related works. In my paper, I combined ANFIS and the improved version of PSO for their prominent quality of less computationally expensive and, general, uh, and generating high quality prediction intervals in a short time. In order to assess the performance of PI, there are some evaluation indices describing the quality of PI through different statistical aspects. The following two indices are two examples among them. First is PICP, prediction intervals coverage probability. LI and UI are lower and upper bound of I's prediction interval. Use PII represents it. YI is the target. It indicates the probability that the targets lie within the constructed PIs. However, if PIs length tends to be infinity, 
PICP can get the maximum value, but in this situation, PI kills no useful information about the prediction targets YI. In order to solve the contradictory trend, we added the prediction interval normalized average width, PIMAW, as basic index to improve the validity of conveying overall information about targets. There are some other similar indices of PINAW. I won't mention too much here. PI which has high PICP, small PINAW is the optimal choice. But getting all of them at the same time is impossible. Based on this conflict, there are some cost functions try to judge the PI from various aspects using both coverage probability and the width of intervals, such as coverage with based criterion, CWC. Here, eta and mu are controlling hyperparameters determine the penalty of discount outcomes. During the test period, gamma PICP is a piecewise function in relation to required PICP. Finally, we use CWC as the fitness function of improved PSO. NFIS is famous for its outstanding quality to construct an input-output mapping based on the combination of human knowledge and the prescriptive input-output data pairs. In a fuzzy inference system, human knowledge and the reasoning process can be qualitative represented by adopting fuzzy if-then rules obtained via neural network. In this article, we consider Takagi signal inference system with two inputs, X and Y, and one output, F out, for simplicity. This is the basic structure of TS inference system. Searching for the parameters can be viewed as a nonlinear regression model as follows. The estimate parameters are denoted as omega hat. Optimizing omega hat to minimize the sum of squared error, where z hat is the vector of predicted values. F can be predicted by a first-order Taylor series in the neighborhood of the true set of parameters omega star, such as pi, qi, and ri in our model, where the ij element in the Jacobian matrix j is denoted like this. The predicted value of f at x0 is given as an example and G0 is denoted like this. If the confidence level is one minus alpha percentage, PI for Z0 is calculated like this. Here comes the structure of PSO-based ANFIS. PSO is a population-based search algorithm with good quality of calculating. It uses fitness function to select the optimal position for individual particle and for global particles. The fitness function is CWC index we mentioned before. Several improved versions of PSO has been applied to multi-objective optimization. In this paper, we combine GA operator and PSO algorithm to optimize the primers and the consequent parameters. The reason for this combination is after integrating GA operator into PSO, the improvement of searching ability can assist to jump out of local optima to the greatest extent. In our paper, one real-world mechanical property focusing case study with 26,500 samples is conducted and employed to validate the effectiveness of the method demonstrated in previous part. Sample points of mechanical properties lie at the end of the stripe, screen out six, eight variants relating to mechanical properties of hot road stripe steel totally as inputs, then focused yield strength as output. All parameter sets of PSO and the CWC cost function is, are shown in table one. And during the experiment, certain necessary data pre-processing, such as detecting outliers and normalization, is performed prior to modeling for the sake of avoid the impact on subsequent modeling resulted from data abnormality and dimensional inconsistency. Apply five-fold cross-validation to the dataset to train and validate each candidate NFIS. 
adopting mean value of CWC45 validation sets as the measurement of the quality of each candidate and FIS structure. Employing structure with the smallest mean value of CWC in the consequent training. These are two diagrams of the outcomes. Left is the point focused output of the PSO based NFIS model and the expected output of the true data set. Right is the constructed PIs for yield and the targets of the data set. As we can see in the figure, almost every sample lies within the constructed PIs, which also can be implied from the PICP indices. As we can see in table two, for all outcomes, we obtain PICP over 95%, which satisfies the ascent confidence level. The satisfactory results indicate that using CWC as cost function and adopting PSO in optimizing the parameters can improve the quality of PIs. From another aspect, PINAWs of all rounds of the data test data are less than 40%, which means that all constructed PIs conveys highly effective information about the target. Our model has applied to recent steel production process and achieved valid feedback. Therefore, modified PSO-based NFIS possesses the ability to generate narrow weights but higher coverage probability PIs in mechanical property forecasting. PI is a promising tool in mechanical property forecasting for its good quality of providing more reliable and informative outcomes and quantifying the uncertainty. By adopting the modified PSO algorithm in constructing of PIs and optimizing for NFIS models in this paper, the calculation is less expensive and the outcomes are more satisfactory. Candidate structures with more hidden layers of NFIS will be started in future work to improve the quality of PI. If you have any questions about the research or algorithm, you would put all questions on the issue part or contact me with email. Thanks.